Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our in Lorraine Gonzalez Stadium. Hot one here in Pueblo, 85 degrees, and sun bearing down on both of these squads here today. It is uh, very important to rack up the regional wins. So the number two ranked team in the nation, the CSU Pueblo Thunderwolves, and the UT Tyler Patriots from the Lone Star Conference, and we are underway. Hot one here in Pueblo, 85 degrees, and sun bearing down on both of these squads here today. Here's the corner from Oliveira, trying to head it right there, and the ball was stopped. Couldn't tell if that was Sean Andrews or if it was Osi Fodunran. Pack regained control of it, another good look for the Thunderwolves. Looks like we're going to have a DeMarc long throw in here. Iggy will wind up for this one. He got a shoulder workout the other night. Here's the throw in from DeMarc. Trying to get a header there, nothing. Oliveira will take another one, and that one just misses high and right. Another good look from deep from Oliveira. That one looked a little bit more reasonable, but just missed high again. So you got to like the aggressiveness from Oliveira so far. Yeah, definitely. I think his first touch there just set himself up a little bit for the volley. Luke Smith in the game, he replaced Ruben Marquez. Zavacini lost it in there, in a bit of trouble here. A shot saved right there. That's the first real look that the Patriots have had here this afternoon. That was by Bologna, the young man who was just given a yellow. CSU Pueblo corner, this gives them a good chance to go 1-0 up here. See what they can do with it. Oliveira, crosser, opportunity there. And it just missed high. Oh, Sean Andrews once again. Another good opportunity for the Thunderwolves that just sails high. Stress on Luke Ryan. No, yeah, I think he was a little bit off balance when he hit that one and just couldn't quite get the connection. And that will conclude the first half. 0-0 zero, zero game. The Thunderwolves have taken 12 shots, nine of them on goal. UT Tyler has just taken the one shot and one shot on goal, so... We go into the break at nil-nil. Oliveira trying to rally troops here as the second half is underway. We'll see for Dunran. Up the left side to Joyner. Joey had a good first half. As he finds Ferdman. Ferdman looks like he tried to backdoor OC for Dunran. Here's a good look. Nothing there to Pasco. Just got tipped away. Pasco looked like he was going to have an opportunity. Wasn't any runners to get on the end of it. Osifo Dunran takes this one away, and the pack have a little bit of life here, and it goes out. Great job there by Toby Osifo Dunran to steal that ball away, and the Thunderwolves are going to get a corner. Looks like Oliveira will take it. There's Oliveira. Across, and there's a goal! Right there, Dylan Zavacini finds the back of the net from Kyle Oliveira. How about that, Jacob? Yeah, great climb from Zavacini there. And an even better header. Absolutely rocketed into the back of the net, and there was no stopping that one, I don't think. That's Dylan Zavacini's first goal of the season. And what a setup by Kyle Oliveira. What a great find there, and the Thunderwolves are on the board. Just like the other night, Cishu Pueblo comes firing out the gates after halftime. Great bit of play from Osip Adunran there to bring that ball down and turn. Toby, he's got Joyner, and it's covered up. Send this one into play. He does. Crosser intercepted by Osi Fodunren. Nice job there from Toby. There's Joey to Iggy. Iggy takes a shot, passes oh. to Osi Fodunren, and it misses wide. Oh, man. They had a great chance to hit Osi Fodunren there on the crosser. Yeah, I thought for sure he was going to put that one in the back of the net. And he looks like he just lost his balance or slipped or something as he tried to hit that one at the back post. But great ball across there from DeMarc. 
for them to try again. L really nice long ball there from Preto. It's in a few of those so far this game. DeMarc to Matty Parks, and his shot misses wide. Joiner, Joiner up ahead. Here is Tidmarsh in the corner. He'll retreat. George has it. Sends it to Oliveira. A goal here for the Thunderwolves would be the nail in the coffin shot right there by Joyner, covered up and knocked out of play by Ryan. Can they put away the Patriots here in the 85th? Leading one to nothing, Oliveira. Another header here by Andrews. Andrews finds the net. And it's two to nothing, CSU Pueblo. Second assist from Kyle Oliveira. How about that, Jacob? Yeah, we've been talking about it all game. He's had so many opportunities, so many that he's not been able to put away so far, and that one might have been the best of them. Tough schedule for UT Tyler this week, taking on two ranked RMAC teams. Oh, here we go right here. Here's Ted Marsh. Ted Marsh has got a one on one, and he scores! George Ted Marsh getting behind the defense, and the third goal of the afternoon for the Thunder Wolves. And the Thunder Wolves goal, score at number 18, George Ted Marsh. Yeah, I mean, it was a really, really nice ball through the middle there. He's been making some good runs so far, Ted Marsh, and finally one of them has paid off. Took it well. He's very composed in that finish, just to tuck it into the bottom right corner. Substitutions doing what they needed to do and making a difference since they've came on. First goal of the season for the Englishman. And ten seconds left to go. And the Thunderwolves are going to win this one here, Jacob. 3-0. And they will get back in the win column after a tough defeat the other night. Bounce back with a very nice three to nil win over a solid UT Tyler Lone Star Conference opponent. Yeah, I think that's exactly what they were looking for. You know, they had a frustrating first half, but after that first goal one went in, it gave them a bit more life. And, uh, you know, of course, they were able to add a couple more. Good end to the week for the Thunderwolves. So there's Caio Oliveira with two assists today. Yeah, I mean, as you can see across the board, pretty dominant display from the Thunderwolves today. A lot more possessions, two goals from corners today, and a third one from a really nice pass down the middle. They'll be, uh, I think, really happy with their second half performance today. There's that first one, the really great opening goal from Zavacini. Excellent header from the defender. Really key part in the game to put the Thunderwolves ahead. Here, here's the other goal to Sean Andrews. Yeah, I mean, as a defender, I'm not really sure what you can do against that. Pretty much unstoppable climbed way higher than everyone else and rifled it into the back of the net. I'm sure at the end of it, he'll be pleasing. There's Marquez with the ball. There's that really nice pass into the middle to Tidmarsh, the substitute, and a calm and composed finish from him, his first of the season. I'm sure he'll be uh, very happy after today's game. Well, another fine performance for the back-to-back -back NCAA runner-up. The number two ranked CSU Pueblo Thunderwolves take today's match 3-0 over UT Tyler. So long, everybody.